December 12th, late at night, December 1982 in Fairwick, Pennsylvania. As you just finish your, let's call it current task or brief moment of investigation dealing with what seems to be a strange werewolf situation or werewolf-like situation in woods nearby. Cold and frazzled and tired. You are about to get back in the car only to see the flashing red and blue lights of emergency vehicle. Some of you do have a vehicle there. Miss Bia. The, I, I do believe that everybody was actually on board that truck. Yeah. But only one owner is known, so. As you are still quite, you know, distance away, that it doesn't appear that anybody noticed your present, presence as they are investigating the vehicle and whatever may have happened nearby. What are you doing? I think if uh, any time that we come across, uh, you know, uh, some of the local law enforcement that is kind of out of the loop, I think at that moment, that's when uh, Lakeisha deploys her jurist my diction, I outrank you, uh, you know, flashes her, her Phoebe's like ID. No, as a clarification like... regards to the agency. Okay, yeah. They are not an officially recognized organization, or oh, at least no. publicly organized. Right. right no 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 this is a, like this is an id that is made for these situations it in no way points back to the agency at all i mean out here since we were coming out here more than likely she packed her wildlife fish and game license or uh you know authority badge for example like there's a few that she's got in her back pockets i mean what do you think all the pockets on the outfit are? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I there's a few badges that I'm sure that Lakeisha has at the ready. Just All in right. Case, you know, we, we can we see how that will play, play out in time. Sure. All right. I just wanted to clarify that point of order. Yeah, I don't know that Tiffany would have walked up to the cops. She would probably be hanging back closer to the cave trying to figure out, like, what are we going to do? Yeah, we've yeah. we've 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 come across probably a similar situation or two you know the local guys they, they've got a job to do i understand this and so uh, we prepare yeah um because probably what we would do is let like and anybody in the group tell me if i'm wrong here but we would let lakeisha go ahead just to test the waters um but we can see kind of who's at the 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 vehicles right now right like from afar uh I was under the impression we walked pretty far, so I didn't know. Yeah, you're still pretty far. It's still pretty obscure, and okay. we all know how hard it is to see actual people like when there's like blinding, flashing lights like that at night. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I think in this type of situation, if you want, uh, nor normally if you were playing a different system, I would say like just roll me a perception check. Unfortunately, there's no such thing as just perception test in this yeah. game. Uh, so, um, could read a bad situation. I'll, yeah. Yeah. Just give me, just give me actually just a general sharp test. Can, can I read? Oh, okay. Can I just specifically? Can I try and determine if I know the officers who are there right now, like who they are, and if I used uh, to work with them? Sure. Okay. Bia's got a eight. Not bad. Nine. Ten. Is Ten? It, what is, is this math? Ten. <laughs> what is is math? this a check for only these two? Uh, uh, they're cr they're, they're currently trying that there. Uh, gotcha. I think so, we're doing this uh, while you're approaching. Like we're watching yeah. from afar. While you're approaching. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Bia knows okay. she's going to have to go in because that's her car. Yeah, that's yeah. her car. <laughs> right. 
Um, I think Tiffany would kind of like lean over and be like, you know, the truth is an option. We went in to see what happened. There was a bear ripped up. We heard a noise. We fired a warning shot. We left. We can just kind of omit some stuff. That's if we an need option. To. I'm just more concerned about them possibly beating the agency to the body of the young adult that's also over that's there. That's why we took all those pictures, right? <clears throat> yeah, um, I just want to make... You took it... a ton of pictures right before we left. Oh. Yeah, I just want to make it super clear that I am... Anytime that there is a dead body and I'm around, suspicion is not great. So maybe if we can avoid that and tell them the truth nonsense and leave it as a last resort let's just let quiche take care of it and uh we me and bia will go intrude on the conversation if we need to uh, uh, uh regarding that point what was your role again uh, uh see it was pretty decent right it yeah it was a 10. 10? okay it was, it's pretty good uh you do believe for just from far that yeah. you recognize although with a much nicer mustache nowadays uh, officer john wilson uh Johnny. he was on the force at the same time as you uh, uh -huh. a bit young, maybe like a year or two younger uh but seems to be to what you know a fairly stellar author cool okay uh, is he the only one or are there multiple uh, there's a multiple one but he's like the one that you can really see right now facing do, you do i know johnny to have been a, a reasonable man is he somebody who'd be like oh yeah you're that crazy sheriff that no I, we're not talking to you or or how do you react um just roll me a one random d6 okay one i'm sure that's good i'm one. sure that's good um you and mm, officer wilson did not interact all that okay. much directly at least uh, for the most part, he seems to be a um, fairly reasonable human okay. being. Um, you know, whether or not he believe in all sort of rumor that were spread around yeah. the wild theory of Sheriff Banks here, um, that's, you know, a totally different story. Sure. Uh, but... It's, there's only one way to find out, really, is to interact with the man, right? You see, it's not a yeah. man that you interacted a lot with. You've seen him passing by, and he was a younger officer. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's All right. An older officer with a gray stash. I I will uh, hope that I don't have to find out, and just wait to see how Lakeisha handles things. All right. Perfect. Lakeisha. Yo. You approach the scene. You currently see a fire truck, an ambulance, which is there, but too late. Um, and for no reason, really. And a police car with two officers on board. Um, one of them is uh, the aforementioned uh, Officer Wilson, uh, which you may or may not have dealt with uh, in your past. But um, do you make yourself... Oh, should I... Um, do you announce yourself as you approach? Clearly. Oh, yeah. You know, uh, definitely. To make sure that all eyes are on me and not wandering behind me, possibly looking at the rest of my group, I go into full Karen mode. Hey, yo, oh, whoa, whoa. Hey, what are you guys doing here? What's going on here? This is an active crime scene, and you are in the middle of my crime scene. What the fuck? And showing the badge, it is a uh, uh, special division of uh, fish, game, and wildlife. Uh, Excuse that. you, miss. Uh, we are well aware this is crime to say exactly why we're here. Uh, could you please approach into the light so we can see? I have a better look at you? Yo, uh, listen, uh, all right, with the searchlights and whatnot, what are you doing on my jurisdiction right here? Do you s not see the badge? Yeah, it's, wa it's wildlife here. and fish and, uh, and wildlife. We are the current officer here. Uh, not when there is a rabid bear on the loose 
or so I was told. Do you not see that? So you're telling me that a bear did this? Uh, well, that's what was reported. To what me. kind of bear is doing this? Tell me. Like, I've been hunting bears and deers and moose in this area for the past 20 years. Uh, what kind of bear are we dealing with here? And may I see uh, that badge a bit closer? Uh, there you go. In his face. Yeah. And uh, says, first of all, who am I speaking to? Because uh, who are you? I don't see uh, a badge. Where's your and badge? He, he sh uh, like, his badge is visible on his jacket. Okay. I'm, and you can see, I'm Sergeant John Wilson of the Fairwick Police Department. Okay. Wonderful uh, no. to make your acquaintance here. And he's, he's going to look at that badge. Well, he's going to ask him if he can uh -huh. have a, may have a look at that badge. Sure. It's uh, what for for what it's worth. It's issued by the agency, so this is not just she pieced it together yeah. at home at her place. They made it uh, as believable as possible. So if I got a roll about it, okay, I understand. I will still uh, ask you to read and manipulate someone. Sure. Oh, that's great, because I've got a negative one on my charm. And that does... Uh... <laughs> All right. Oh, that's pretty good, though. Okay, I rolled a six and a four, y'all. That's a ten. Uh, well, minus the one is a nine, but... Okay, uh, which is not that thing. great. Here's one thing. This was now. This was manipulate someone. That is correct. Okay. Would you also say, uh, because I'm going through my uh, things that I have here under the professional, would you also say that this could be an act under pressure at the same time? No, that would be hundred percent manipulate someone, okay. uh, because you're making them believe that you are. Here, a wildlife agent, uh, which will deal with wildlife, uh, not typically crime scene. Uh, uh, so she would speak up and say, "Yeah, we got a report." So that it's a total was a, of oh, nine, sorry, right? Go ahead. Yes. Yes. So uh, you know, she would uh, follow it up with, "We got a report that supposedly there was a rabid." animal possibly a bear because of the size i haven't caught sight of the animal just yet but yes of course the damage is here matter of fact hang on one second uh let me get you the person that was uh that called in the report and she turns and if you guys are watching we've done this before there's a signal there's <laughs> an arm movement a hand movement something Yep, Dia's and so, absolutely watching. Yeah. Yep, and it's her uh, car, and they're no gonna know that she's there because right, it's distinctive. Um, so she's gonna come out through and kind of squint through the sun and through the lights and everything. Just go, hey, geez, y'all got here faster than I thought. Miss Carter, good to see you. Yeah. Figured, what do you go hey, around the truck? Uh, and while you were chatting, like while you turned around and you know, seeing all uh, some of the folks, you do see well, people that were pay, being able to see and pay attention to uh, Sergeant Wilson here uh, yeah. noticed that he was, you know, talking to one of his fellow officers okay. uh, to possibly take down the information and okay. possibly run, so, run some information. With a nine, it is very much a mixed success. Okay. Uh, so, uh, anybody with a bit of intuition would be able to tell that they're not exactly buying the whole uh, bear thing, especially with the you no know, rib door and you know, it would be a very odd situation for the Department of Forestry and, Forestry and Wildlife to just be here quickly, that quickly. So, listen, I don't know how you guys handle things over in your area. I'm, I'm not going to tell you guys how to do your job, but with all the different reports that we've gotten over the past year, I mean, you see my arm, right? 
you you understand uh that these things yeah. are powerful creatures right i mean you know i hate to say it but i fucked around and found out one year myself all right so you know of course we take no. every threat seriously certainly we no. can understand it's the wildlife is dangerous this is a, a rather unusual situation and if uh, indeed the uh, there's collaboration from the wildlife department we are more than happy to do so uh, uh i miss uh wh what is the name that uh, out of you know ear keeper to you what is the name that appear on said badge is it your oh, actual name it would or... it would it would be my it would be uh one of my aliases Could which be, is uh let's see what what alias are we coming up with today folks uh ms nichols Miss um uh, arlene nichols miss arlene nichols uh yeah. and you can see he's taking uh, like his pad and all that uh could you remind me uh what's the name of like your uh, the officer that you report to listen I, if if i if we gotta go there um matter of fact we have to go there indeed yes no problem how about let me have my supervisor call your supervisor how about you this is the way uh, this has worked before how about so... you tell me the name of your supervisor hey Bia, Bia, are you oh fuck hey jimmy i'm gonna like come out of the tree line looking kind of confused and haggard i've put a little bit of dirt on my face um and say hey oh, oh. well hey, hey, hey oh, oh, it's all right it's okay um hey jimmy sorry i didn't realize that you had come out here so fast. There's a it's fucking John, situation. John, but yes. J you know, John, yeah, sorry. <laughs> oh my God. Um, this, this, is, this is unbelievable. I'm so sorry you had to come out like this. I, you know, it, it, these are the two that are the victims here. And you guys are all over the place with this. Are you Really, they're the right victims now? here. <laughs> so are, you, are you okay? And he, you can see he's looking at, at right? the truck with like the missing door. Yeah. Um, Are you okay, sir? Are you all right? I'm fine. I'm sorry. I just... I, I, I don't... I'm confused. I sort of... You tripped. I had, I, I had a bit to drink and I tripped and there's a, there's a lot going on. There was some weird furry creature out there. I, there's just a lot going on. But listen, I'm sorry. I, I know that there's there's some sort of animal and I got I got two kids back there who need some help. So if I I hate to ask this, I know you're doing an investigation. Could you come with me for a second to make sure that these kids are all right? You said two kids back there, right? Yes. Uh, uh, roll me and manipulate someone. Sure. Oh boy. You're all, all like absolutely lying to your teeth so hard. Oh my god. Nine. Tiffany and Kate are sitting on a stump hey. back by yeah. the fucking cave. We haven't moved. Yeah, yeah. I got I got a nine. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, and you see, I think all some some people. All right. Uh, those officers are gonna go look uh, while we'll, uh, we look at a situation here. So, uh, Miss uh, Nichols, right? You said uh, what was again your, the name of your um, uh, reporting officer, so that we could just and that not a number that we can reach to. Anderson, uh, and if you can't read the badge again, I can certainly read. Yeah, call the main. That's office. why I'm asking you the name of your reporting officer. Call the main office. Ask for Anderson. Simple. All right. First name. Just Anderson. Don't ask me why. The man doesn't like to be called by his first name. All right. Uh, just. So we, just to help us with our investigation here. Uh, well, you guys possible? are supposed to be helping us. I mean, look at this guy. I mean, he's got dirt all over him. Can somebody check him at least for lacerations here? What is going on? Do you yeah, guys not gonna, know how to do your gonna, jobs? We have, and like there's some, there's some medic approaching you. Uh, Please, all right. Uh, they're gonna go. Uh, they're gonna go with them. So, but you seem to be quite fine here. So you don't mind like helping us answer some questions. Just uh. You understand so that I can fill out my report properly. Go right ahead. Right? So your name is... Okay, we got that here. 
do you, uh, do, you have, do you have any contact numbers that we could reach you in case of further question? Uh, same number that you're gonna reach Anderson because you know what? I'm not out here eating bonbons on vacation. Usually, I'm on the job. And he look, you can see he's looking at you like very seriously. All right, takes note. And you get into two other people. There's a medic and one of the officers that do follow you at Percy. Okay. So he said, uh, he said, uh, kids, right? Y yeah. Um, the, uh, if it's best if you just come back with me for a second. Um, okay. Keeper. Yes. I would, I'm sorry. Um, first of all, I mean, y'all did deep shit. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a move and it's gonna be uh, no, dude, don't be stupid. Oh, that's all I know how to do. Do you tell Jaden to don't be stupid? Come on. <laughs> yeah, come on. That's my signature move. Um I would like to, as I'm leading him back, start to like point him towards where they need to go so he walks in front of me. And I want to attempt to just Hear me out, guys. Pistol whip the back of this guy's head. I want. I want to just take him out. You, you do realize you have, you have two persons. Right? I, I would like. Yeah, I would like. Oh, there's two of them. Two of them followed me. Yeah, there's okay. uh, there's a medic and there's one of the. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So obviously, I can't do that by myself. That's that's a bad plan. <laughs> well, if uh, okay. you are currently busy Question. right now with uh, Officer yes. uh, Wilson. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm, they are way away from you at this point. Okay. You know what? Um, do, 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 do. Okay. Adapting. I'm going to continue to take them to, to Tiff and Kate. Um, and, and as I approach, I'm just going to like point and wave and say, hey, they're over here. Come over here, guys. And just like very clearly, like, get over here with me. Kate leaves. All right, I don't blame you, honestly. <laughs> just, like, as uh, soon as soon as Percy looks back, Cade does one eighty. Yeah, you, pro you probably you probably see away from, from, I mean, from, from away. From away, she has a way to cloak herself lights. by just asking. Yeah, she could just you, disappear if she wants you to. You probably see like a very a very deal, you know flashlights, you know point there are you know actually. Well, actually, if Percy is leading away like them far enough that they would not be like near the rest of the. Mm -hmm. Troopers and all that. All right. Actually, I think that uh, Kate's gonna look at Tiffany and say, "Your mom's not gonna like this. Come with me." Yeah, you're probably right. She's gonna follow Kate. <laughs> she knows better. She's like, she knows. And so the thing is, is Tiffany trusts Kate. I don't think Kate realizes that yet, but <laughs> Tiffany trusts them. So she's gonna be like, nah. I'm out. <laughs> I think at that, I think as soon as we start hearing the, I don't even think we get to a point that we hear Percy calling us. We probably booked the minute we started hearing things fall apart. Cause it's quiet enough that we can at least tell by voice volume, something is going very wrong. And I would immediately follow them. Because stay safe. That's kind of the motto she's learned. Yeah. All right. Okay. We out. <laughs> so to be clear, Percy's like, there's these two kids. Oh, hey, guys, come over here. And there's just nobody in the forest. So, so, just, 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 you might find you... footprints like the last little, the little bit of snow that's there. Like, you yeah. Footprints of us so, oh, no. Just going to take care of Set that. up like the girl, <laughs> yeah. like spacing of people and various scenes playing out at the same time because yeah. right now we have I, I do, did Bia uh, follow Percy I do believe so right yeah did, unless did, somebody unless somebody stops her from doing that your yeah, call she was going to your call yeah, yeah I right. think I I, th I think probably our best bet and I'm as we're walking away Kate I think our best bet is to run back to Percy's all right so we have three scenes playing at 
more yeah. or less at the same time. Yeah. We have uh, here uh, Lakeisha with Sergeant Wilson uh, in a... Uh, we, we have a higher pissing... Uh, piss the highest contest, you know? They're, they're like authority pissing contest, which I love it. We have Percy with... We just, you know, brought along Bia and this plan that will be an absolute shit show, I can guarantee you. <laughs> we have... Uh, at the end, we're like near the cave entrance. We have uh, Tiffany and Cade. Uh, like, we should get the fuck out of here. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna let you deal with the adults and and the teen and the young twenty year old twenty something are getting All right. the fuck out. <laughs> so, uh, just a better, the best way to resolve this, Cade uh, and Tiff. What is your plan to get the fuck out of here? As you see, Percy. Uh, more or less be uh because it's hard like you like you don't have a light pointing at them so you just see you just hear uh, percy's voice you see a few flashlights and you're not exactly sure who's there but you do understand that oh there's a terrible thing happening here so what is your plan to get out and just to see if that is successful because that will dictate uh how good things go with them partially um, Kate, do you got any ideas? Mm, what do you mean affects what goes on with that? Kate just wants to go. Are you just but... walking out of there? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, they're going to ask their friend for help. All right. Uh, say, can you, um, make us disappear to them? Don't do anything weird. Do anything weird. You know what I mean. Sure, I understand. Um, well, we can try. You know that is also up, just as much up to you as it's up to me. And yeah, you're gonna have to uh, attempt some uh, magic shit to see how oh, well you magic allow that shit. bond. Just, just roll general weird. Uh, whatever you usually roll for weird magic shit. Yeah, I guess probably weird. weird. <laughs> magic shit. Don't fail uh, me now. We'll be like probably use magic here. Ten. Ten. I do believe ten is uh, successful. Uh, I don't have my moves up right now. Can I do a thing to potentially help if need be? Uh, I do believe with a 10, it would work. Uh, well, at least it works, but you don't know exactly that it's working right away. Mm. Like, all right, well, nothing, a bit of a solution, I guess. And as you see the flashlight, like, point towards you, if you look behind you, it seems like the light is going just right through you. As if you are physically there. Uh, you are able to see your companion, although with a bit of a blur around them. Uh, nice. But uh, uh, it seems that for the time being, uh, you are temporarily invisible, at least uh, to most people. The lo uh, however, I will tell you that the longer you hold on this, the more it's going to take a toll on you. Yeah, we, we're headed out. Really, yeah, it, it, like it, it grants you abilities, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, you are the vessel for those. So, mm -hmm. so all right. So that play uh, puts out to the next scene, next aspect of this general three-part scene, I guess. Uh, Percy and Bia, as you're like having flashlights, where they should be there, two people. Uh, and you, you see one of the also like turn around to you, like, so 
were they? And especially like you lied like through your teeth and were not very good at it earlier. And you can see like he's like I I am very like no hesitation the moment putting his end like towards is uh, Yeah. The the moment that he doesn't see them, he falls on his old faithful, which is just like slurring his words, stumbling a little bit, and be like, they were they they were out here. I saw them earlier, they were they were just they were sitting here and there was a big bear and they they were <clears throat> he just kind of like stumbles a little bit back he is going to kind of lean towards him and go i didn't want to say it in front of everybody i didn't see no kids out here i don't <clears throat> think it's just i think between the drinking and no no there was a head injury there was two of them they I were standing right here the whole time they were they were looking at the right. bear mr banks reach uh -huh. you know, you're gonna come with us uh-huh yeah uh you know I'm, you know, gonna, you, know, you I'm just gonna, you know, put those cuff on you just for your own safety here. Oh no, you don't gotta gonna, do that. Gonna take we, you back, gonna take you in for a bit of checkup, and just make uh, sure that you don't have any concussion if you were like in that car, right? Yeah, no, I know the drill. I've done it all before. I've done this shit. Uh, you don't gotta do that. Right? I wasn't driving or anything. I was just on a walk. And... <clears throat> Sir, let me clarify. He wasn't in the car or nothing. He wasn't involved in that side of things. I pulled up and he was just walking toward the pole. And so I was following him to make sure he was okay. Yeah, all the lights but, went out. And I was like, why are the lights out? And I started was, walking and ugh. Yeah. So Liz, I'll I'll take care of him. I'll make sure he gets somewhere safe to sleep it off. Um, this, I was gonna say roll um, me deception, but that's not deception. That's, uh, <laughs> we're gonna manipulate. Yeah, because y'all have been like not doing good. You like like no, yeah. no, we've been like no. this has been a flawless plan. What do you mean, Frank? Flawless. <laughs> Let's see if Bia is better at. Oh yes, she is. That <laughs> is a go. total of a twelve. Let's go. Thank you, Bia, for coming in clutch. <laughs> Bia's activating right. full mom mode of like, yeah. I, I got this. Don't you, yo, you guys don't need uh, that extra paperwork. You guys are gonna have enough to deal with with everything uh, like that. Let me just go yeah. ahead. I'll take him home. Get him uh, taken uh, care of. Like no, 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 since you like say it's a bit drunk, I just if it's all right with you, I'm just gonna just make sure that there's nothing else on the lining. Like if you see things, maybe concuss or something from something else, and just you know flash like the light in your eye, Percy. Oh hey, don't do that. I'm dizzy from when I tripped earlier. Oh. <laughs> Uh, well, we just are gonna, they are they just, far yeah. away enough from? Oh yeah, they're like Lakeisha. Because all of you had to like walk for quite some time from the truck to sure. that cave, so they're okay. quite a distance away. You're not able to Fair hear enough. or see that conversation by any means. Uh, all right. Well, in that case, we're just gonna walk you back, Miss uh, Carter. Uh, I do believe your truck is there, so we're yeah. just gonna take you. Know, I mean, some of your information, just to make sure that we have everything right. And Oh, like, yeah, it, of course. You know, you're, you're understanding it. It's, it's, you know, it's a whole scene, so we have to, you know, make sure that he's going to probably, probably not going to have to call you back later, but just, just to make sure, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, I used to do your job. We know what we're doing. Ugh. All right, you keep quiet. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, we're good. And <clears throat> they walk you. They, they don't pay as much attention to you, Bia, but they like the officer here does like keep an eye on Percy and you do no, like notice it like you let, let 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 him walk like first and like keep an eye on him just to make sure that there's nothing no funny business happening with him okay if um, if they let her she would be like doing like arm around his waist to let him like lean very dramatically yeah. on her all right Percy. yeah no he'll, he'll do the full fucking i mean Bia has seen Percy drunk, so it's like over dramatic even by those standards. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right. Back to um, the scene. Well, one of the scene of the crime. <laughs> the initial crime scene, um, where we have Miss Nichols uh, with Sergeant Wilson. All right. Well, I think we have most of all the information.
thank you for your collaboration. And you can you can sense the sarcasm in his voice. Like he's not hiding it. Listen, uh, Wilson, is it correct? Correct. I'm sorry. I came off a certain type of way. As you can tell, like I said, gestures to her arm. I take these calls very seriously because back when I got injured, you know, I wasn't found for hours. Hours. Do you understand what it's like to have your own limb torn from your body? bleeding out and you don't know whether or not you're gonna live or die I mean I'm sorry that I came off a little strong earlier but yes when I am on call for these type of situations I'm real serious about this and uh, you know I, I can't stress enough my apologies if I got in your face. But look, you, if you still need to call that number, you talk to Anderson, you let them know uh, that Miss Nichols had a talk with you earlier. And also what I would recommend is to probably keep your men out of this area. Real talk, there's so much that could be going on. You, you see the, the condition of this car. I mean, I'm with you. You understand? I'm with you. I've never seen a creature do something like this to a vehicle. But that no, plus I understand. The urgency, this is why I was so adamant. Or and don't worry, I can I can certainly understand like not, not being found for like hours being injured. I wasn't damn, so. Wow. But so we have a number and your name. We're going to get in touch. Fair enough. Again, no. would make sure that your men stay out of the area for now. I mean, a creature that could do something like this could be rabid or worse. We don't know what we're dealing with here. But my office will definitely and in that reach case, out with For all due respect, Mr. Coles, our team are going to stay nearby just in case there's any civilian near that comes in the area. You understand. So, if... Uh, you, um, I'm sure that you have plenty of paperwork to report. Uh, in a moment, we're gonna have a power company come by to fix that pole. Uh, if I'm sure they have plenty of paperwork related to that to fill up and take care of. So we are going to secure the area, investigate that car, and get it towed accordingly. And. Well, I'm sure that we shall uh, speak with each other very soon. I mean... Uh, like, collaboration from federal office to federal office. Is it, um... Keeper, is it possible um, to pers try to persuade them one more time um, and take uh, a luck? Um, because on my sheet, I can mark a luck to hmm. change a roll to 12... Yeah, it's like that with every. Which would everybody. be. So, what exactly are you trying to do here? Basically, trying to convince them, um, she will take her shades off and just have this haunted look in her eyes. What the hell are you having shades in the middle of the night? <laughs> are you kidding me? There was even a song about it in the eighties. Remember? <laughs> anyway, so. <laughs> but uh, she would definitely just let them see the haunted, hardened, grizzled look in her eyes and say, look, you're grown and you're going to do what you're going to do. But I'm telling you, if any of your men get torn apart like I did, it's on your head, man. I'm telling you. Now, I respect the fact that you did what you did for our country in Nam. I'm with you 110%. But there are strange things out in these woods sometimes. And you know, I just, I don't want to see any of these good guys 
over here. Torn Lin from Lin. Do you understand? Can can you can I at least ask you, please? Right. Give it give it a day. Just give me one day to coordinate with my office. I swear to you, we'll send over every piece of information on this that we've got. There's no reason why we can't share information on this, but it is a bad situation. I'm, I'm almost sure of it. All right, in that case, I'm going to ask you to roll to manipulate someone just to see what the result will be. Sure. And if then you want to use your luck, you may. Sure. Um, remember, luck are a limited okay. resource. So. so we got, I rolled two fours. Which, if we're doing manipulate, that's actually a seven. So yes, I'm gonna use that luck to change it to a twelve, please. I'm going for Academy Award right here to right. ask them to stay the fuck away. All right, Miss Nichols, we can. No, we're gonna have to do our, our duty here. Which you understand? Uh, we're gonna wrap up the scene as quickly as possible. And. Uh, so since uh but i would strongly encourage you uh i don't see any vehicle of yours around here uh who did you come here i with? mean uh, d don't don't get me wrong they don't pay us i mean if you if you do they need like if you do need a, a ride we we are more than happy to provide you i'm i'm good friend uh, i'm not far you know I can stay with someone that's that's close by. Don't don't worry about me. I mean, between you and me, they never oh. pay us enough for this job, do they? Yeah, huh? yeah, friends in yeah, friends in the area. Uh, which and which family are you staying at? Uh, well, uh, I mean, if you're familiar with the Johnsons, I mean, you know, you know, here like our us Fairwick folk, right? We're like tightly knit. So, I mean, if you're familiar with the Johnson family, they can vouch for me. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm familiar with Johnsons. Yeah. We we have like summer barbecue every, every year, so. so but uh, but yeah, I mean, just good on you, and uh, and everybody stay safe, please. Right. It would probably be roughly at that time that both B and Percy, fakely drunk, arise back. Uh, I'm assuming that y'all gonna go in Bia's truck. Yeah. 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 Okay. Perfect. And uh, so I think yeah, Bia course. is gonna like look over at Lakeisha to be like, "Car coming with?" Or are you nodding, nodding. Uh, you know what? Matter of fact, uh, Wilson, I'll uh, I'll see if uh, this uh, young lady here is is good enough to get me a ride back. You know how it is; they never pay us enough for this job. <sighs> but be well, be safe. And All right. she goes off. We'll and keep she, in touch. She does this like thousand yard stare, and then she like turns. And she walks up to uh, as Bia is stuffing Percy in the front seat. <laughs> Get in there! He, he's like right. going limp and just kind of like, it, kind of unintentionally, but also intentionally making it harder for Bia. Just like, why not? Fuck it. We're in this situation. <laughs> he was curious about whether she could pick him up and is finding out that, yes, she can. Exactly. He's like, how strong? Oh, fuck. You're very strong. <laughs> wow. Is that a callback to two episodes? <laughs> <laughs> All right. In the, while you are getting warm, probably going to get warm and cozy in a bit in the truck because, I'm, I'm, you know, yeah, you have heat in your car, which is great. Like when turned on, it's great. Uh, there are two people out there in the woods in the middle of the night, probably freezing right now. Uh, it's pretty fucking cold. What are y'all, like, you two doing over there? Like, oh, what is your escape plan here? <laughs> um, the first thing Tiffany's gonna do is look and see if they're leaving footprints. Um, do you have any light source with you? No, but I would think, I mean, it's, like, sundown. There's probably enough ambient. It, it is very dark. Well, then, fuck it. No, I'm not. I'm just running. <laughs> like, I would be, I mean, I would assume that we could look and see, you know, two feet behind us. Yeah. You were at the, the point that it was everybody was at to use flash, like, right? Right. Um, so you you have a hmm. What, 
you would you, you would know like how far Percy's house is more or less from here. Yeah, we drove. I mean, we just drove down his street, and it was only like five minutes yeah. away. My whole idea was we were gonna run due north back up the street, like maybe fifty yards from the road. All right, um, and just keep running straight north because Tiffany knows the area. She and her friends come back in these woods all the time. This is where you dip out when you don't want to hang out. Whoever's taking the lead on that could roll me a hack under pressure. Sure. Uh, actually, I would. Yeah, I would allow yeah that done. And if somebody else, like the other person, wants to do the help out option, uh, if you are indeed helping out, uh, would work because you're trying to find direction. Uh, okay. Um. Do, 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 do. So, what does the help out action do for the roll? Uh, a like plus one or something? I do believe uh, it does uh, give mm. a plus one to. Uh... All right. Oh, that's really good. Um, eleven. Ooh. All right. No, wait. I can't mm. add ten. Uh, I'm rolling with cool. Yep. That's not cool. Oh, it's zero. <laughs> um, that's going to be a seven. A very specific seven. Mm. All right. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, sorry. What was I rolling under? Act under pressure? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So you'd be adding. Okay, cool. Um, so you know, you would know it would take some, quite some time to get there, regardless, especially with solar light and anybody that, you know, in there you did uh, go around the woods uh, at night. You know how fun it is, especially we don't, we don't have much light. Um, and in the winter, there's shit that you don't see under the snow. Uh, as somebody that got their foot stuck into brushes <laughs> and bushes off enough by just venturing off the trails. Uh, I was not always a smart person that I am nowadays. Uh, but yeah, it it would take you, you know, a good hour or so to get back. Yeah, uh, I would probably, after we were five minutes further out, we know that the cops are probably not following us at this point, and I would have told Cade to drop it so that they didn't get completely exhausted. Yeah. yeah. You can probably drop it and tell him I said thanks. Yeah. All right. You okay? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That was a no great biggie. idea. Thank you. Yeah, I didn't want you to have to deal with your mom. I didn't want to have to deal with the cops. My mom hasn't talked to me in like a week. Hmm. This would be a bad first conversation. Yeah, probably. All right, and then I think from there, I, I don't know how much talking we're gonna do on the walk because we're trying to mm. conserve energy and not be seen. I think we're mm -hmm. just gonna try to move Smart. as quick as possible mm -hmm. to get all back right. to Percy's. And obviously all the adults will be there by the time we get there, but. Yeah. So, uh, Bia, are you going directly to your uh, to Percy's house or are you going somewhere else? I think she's probably gonna go directly to Percy's. She's driving slow ostensibly because the roads are dangerous but also she's mm -hmm. hoping that she can hopefully catch them coming out of the woods at some point before percy's because uh, burr burr yeah burr indeed because some people are not dressed for that weather exactly not looking at you tiff i've got <laughs> one of percy's coats on yeah it's not a heavy coat, but it's better than the fact that she was just wearing a sweater when she showed up at his house. She looks like a big there. leather coat and yeah. not yeah. probably not really any insulation on it. So, okay. all right. So, for general sake of brevity, um, any conversation happening on the way over? Because it's not a big drive. It's maybe like at most five ten minutes drive. Yeah. Right. Um, I, I think once once the cops are kind of out of sight, Percy's gonna immediately drop the drunk act and just look at Lakeisha and go, "Hey, that was a fucking mess." Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Just but, a little bit there. 
Do you, either of you know where the other two went? I'm hoping they're heading back to our house, but we have no way of contacting them. I'm, nope. I'm sure they are. Tiff spent enough time run, running around those woods that she knows way around. Yeah, it's just, th- there was a wolf out there and we don't know if it was the only one, so I'd really like to find them as soon as possible. Yeah. Well, we'll see if they get there. I don't want us to be splitting off and risk missing them in the woods and then they get back to ours and then go tromping back out again. No, oh, I got right. you. Yeah, you that's know, fair. They know, they know to meet up with us. We'll be, they'll be fine. Okay. All right, fine. Let's just stay Hurry. in one place where they can find us. All right. Perfect. So, going to Percy's home, or Percy and Bia's home, sometimes. It was a slip of the tongue. I didn't mean to call it that. That's all right. No, I mean... Uh-huh. <laughs> you, know, you said what you said. Maybe, I immediately maybe, saw call that in the chat. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> maybe Jay did not want to call it that, but Percy did. Uh, I guess so. <laughs> uh, as, as soon as I get there, Bia's starting up the generator again to get some heat. Yeah. Uh, so probably within 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, very cold. Uh, a very cold uh, Tiffany and Cade uh, will show up to uh, in, in, in your backyard. Uh, I th- probably in very much need of proper warmth. I was, I was going to say, as soon as they come in, Bia hustles them in hands them each a set of spare clothes that she's got and bustles them off because there's one bathroom like on the main floor and then there's also one in the basement and just is like just is like tiff getting the one in the master bedroom Cade, one in the basement you stand make to get that water good and warm uh start it slow like just a little bit warm don't go too hot right off the bat warm up i got some cocoa going and does Thanks. not does not accept any like yeah. protests, nothing like that. Just is full whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. I thought we only had one bathroom in the house. <laughs> Wait <laughs> the house is flexible, you know. It uh it changes as we need it. <laughs> <laughs> bathroom of requirement. All right. <laughs> but, yeah. uh, I think after uh B rattles that off, uh Lakeisha will come uh to uh, and say uh, yo B, listen. Uh, first of all, sucks about your car. Sorry. Uh, but maybe I can pull a couple strings back with the agency. I mean, they're gonna want to see the damage that was caused anyway. So uh, pause. Just point Did of order here. Happened to her car. Bia's car is fine. It, it was a different truck that was injured. Oh, You're mixing things truck. up. My apologies. My memory's sorry. bad, but not that bad. Oh my goodness. Sarah, Sarah's immediately like, don't hurt my car. What the fuck? Yeah. What happened? <laughs> All right. Take but now that is clarified. Sorry. All right. Got it. All right. So no need for that. All right. Snap. So, so. Uh, uh, but would still, uh, I think um, once uh, once Bia uh, rattles off those, uh, you know, marching orders to everybody. I uh, think uh, I would at least come to her side and say, uh, yeah, you know, um, you know, the place is kind of looking a little more spruced up. I guess it's a woman's touch, huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah, too, really. Tiff's been, I know she's been hanging out a lot over here and I'm sure she's doing a fair chunk of cleaning up to keep from going stir crazy i've um not been over here too much mostly at the phone uh back at mine but yeah this is definitely cleaner dear god the sheets were atrocious i was gonna get around to cleaning them eventually Okay. Your flat sheet was standing up on end. That is mostly an exaggeration and not relevant to the current conversation. Okay, I'm not going to keep letting you guys come around here if you're all just going to keep judging me and every single one of my life decisions. God. 
this is why they call it an A and B conversation. Uh, well, it's in my house and you're talking really loud. <laughs> it's about that time that Tiffany wanders back out of the bathroom. She didn't bother getting a shower because she had zero desire, but she's in different clothes because she had her bag with her. She had brought a change of clothes in case she needed them. Um, but she changes like into, you know, a different pair of jeans and a, a sweatshirt and stuff. She's like, I don't really feel like getting in water right now. So why are we screaming? Nothing. The adults are, I, I am arguing with people. Just, oh, it's been a little bit of a day. Okay. Give me a break to you. Keep having your conversation. Tiff, actually, can yeah, you, yeah. can you come with me for a sec? Can we talk about something? Yeah, where do you want to go? Basement or I, I pushes a mug of cocoa into her hand. Yeah, I don't drink take. drink that. Uh just Yeah, let's let's step into um my office. <clears throat> okay. She'll like wander into the, the room and uh, find office, a spot right? to sit on a desk that's like got like one little corner her tiny little ass can fit on. <laughs> uh, Percy wants to talk to Tiff, but I don't want to like interrupt it. Like if we need to finish other conversations, then. Okay. Uh, he's just going to kind of close the door and turn around and go, right. Okay. Um, Sorry. Your mom's going to hear about this. Your, your mom's going to hear about what you do here. Eventually. If tonight is anything to say, like, I know she already knows, but she's going to keep hearing about the different things that happen around town and that you were involved, trust me. And so we need to talk to her sooner rather than later. Okay. I mean, at some point tonight, I have to go home because I have to go to school tomorrow and I don't have a bed here yet. Y yeah. I have some ideas about. We'll talk about that later. Um, <clears throat> I don't like people rearranging my shit. We'll talk about it. We'll talk. I don't we'll want to rearrange your stuff. I want to talk to you about what you're comfortable with first. Okay. Yeah. No, appreciate it. I, we'll figure it out. Sorry. I, I know it was probably weird that I came in and cleaned. I just needed something. To <clears throat> no, it's, it was honestly nice. And uh, V is probably very thankful because I've been fighting her on it for a while. Um, look, Sorry. Tonight we we had a run in with the cops, okay? And, and that's one. Yeah, I I assumed you saw. That is something I've always been able to get out of. I know people in the department and they all think I'm an idiot. My reputation's shot. It doesn't fucking matter for me. But for the rest of y'all, that's a different story. And if they had seen you tonight, I tried to bring them to you, which was dumb. I panicked. It was silly, but it's I had a plan, okay? I was gonna do something unethical, but I am glad that I didn't have to. So am I. Point is, eventually this stuff begins to get out. People begin to hear about your involvement. And that's not fair for you. Look, I know everybody thinks I'm just a kid. Technically, I'm an adult now. Uh huh. And yes, I'm still in school, and no, I can't drink, and blah blah blah, whatever. But right, I'm not worried about it. That's the thing. I am. I know I call you and Kate both the kids, and I know that that's probably unfair. But the two of you are still young enough and far enough away from this that it doesn't have to ruin how people see you for the rest of your lives. But for me and Bia and Lakeisha, we're in this shit and people know that whether they know exactly what's going on or not. And I don't want the two of you to have to have it follow you your whole fucking lives. Then I'd call you stupid and probably definitely my daughter. Like, I have ideas, okay? I have ideas about the future. I have ideas of how I can possibly help this isn't going away she has like a little sparkle thing she doesn't like actually set them that's never gonna go away it's who i am i know it... look i just 
if you and Kate are getting into this, I want you both to know what you're getting into because none of the rest of us got that option. So I feel I it's only fair. And I know, and I appreciate it. Um, I'm really thankful that you're trying to look out for me. I am, but, and I kind of already talked to Miss Bia about it. Look, <sighs> I'm waiting on college applications to come back, right? Right. I've put a lot of them in. Right. The and you're is, very smart. The hope is you pen so I can stay here. That would be nice. I already know what I want to study, and I think it's going to help. I'm going to take... They have this new degree, and it's kind of weird, and people are kind of interested in it, but they have a folklore degree that explains all of this kind of stuff. It goes into all of these things that we're involved with. Right. And maybe it can help us figure it out. Because this, and she starts pointing at like everything that's sitting on the walls incomplete. Yeah. This all makes sense to me. And I think you're onto stuff here. I just think that extra eyes will help. And I'm wondering if maybe all of the stuff that I can learn with a degree like that can help. I mean, obviously weird shit goes on around here. We're like ground zero for the weirdest stuff. And it's wild and it's ridiculous. And I, I'm in the middle of it now and I don't have really a choice because of this. I don't know what happened. I don't know what really caused it. I wish I did, but I'm in it now. I'm here now. I mean, obviously the people at the agency put me with this group for a reason. And I think Cade knows it too. And I think you should give them a little more credit. Her companion slash friend, I, Andrew Malleus, got us out of there. He protected us. You know, all I ever wanted was a choice. A choice to walk away, a choice to not be in this. Still have that choice if you really wanted it. Uh, unfortunately, I'm realizing in this moment that you're right. Because I chose not to. And I'm realizing looking at you right now is because I didn't want to choose anything else. Fine, but you and Cade have got to get a better grasp of this whole shit that you can do because we're going to need it. If you're sticking around, we're going to need it. So from now on, anything that you two figure out you can do, you tell me. And I will talk to Cade eventually about that. Me and... Yeah, I'm not making any promises for them, but I'll... We've got shit to sort out and I got an apology to give and fucking Same. what Dad. yeah it's okay I will talk to you because you actually listen to me mama doesn't and that is something we will solve tomorrow this is gonna be real fun to explain and that's if I can get there because the roads are gonna be closed until they fix that hole yeah, actually, I'll call your mom. We'll, you, I know I have a couch. I know it's not the most comfortable thing in the world, but I will sleep on it. You can sleep in the bed down in the infirmary. It's fine. It's not the most comfortable thing in the world, but it's better than the floor, and it's better than one of us sleeping on the couch. Well, honestly, everybody better stay here tonight because we don't know how many wolves are out there. It could be more than just the one. So, I guess I'm running a fucking hotel at this point. All right. Do you want me to call mama? Well, we gotta wait until the phones come back on. She can just wait and suffer. She never cared what you were doing beforehand. She doesn't get to start caring now. <sighs> All right. All right. So, while this was happening, any other conversation or point of order to take 
in this specific night. I... Just one. As soon as they come out of the yeah. walk out of the room, Lakeisha is already sitting on the couch and has all her gadgetry around her, covering the entire couch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and she looks she's looking over all her instruments, trying to see if there was any um, you know, different uh, you know, proximity alarms that picked up anything. It's basically every proximity alarm that she set up before they left. Mm-hmm. And so uh, she looks like she's tinkering there and she looks up and sees Percy and says, oh, hey, sorry, man. Uh, I'm probably going to need to accommodate your couch. If you don't mind. I mean, if we're all hanging out here, uh, I might as well take the couch. <laughs> all right. Yeah, that's that's fine, Keish. Um, we're all probably spending the night, so just make yourself comfortable. Don't fucking get oil on that, okay? Um, I just It's got enough alcohol stains. It doesn't need any fucking water. Just just clean up any mess you make, okay? That, that's all I'm asking. You got it. You got it it's got blood got right it. in, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh. All right. And as he oh. yeah, as he storms away, she kind of like looks over at uh at Tiff and kind of like gives a little like a little wink and then just <laughs> goes right back to what she was doing. Tiffany just looks <laughs> super duper fucking confused and like well she uh you know uh, i hope you guys uh, sleep comfortable uh you know this is fine enough for me all right anybody else have anything uh, that evening yes what time is it uh by this point it's probably closer to like 9 30 10 the Bia would like to tell everyone about the chosen thing, so it's not hanging over everyone's. So it's not hanging over her head. Okay. Um. She, yeah, she's just coming out with mugs, more mugs of cocoa from the kitchen. Incredibly banged up mugs. Like people don't even have time to finish their first mug. They already have like two or three mugs. Yeah. Oh, like it's probably it's not like that many, but she's just making sure everybody's got hot mug and in place and then just goes um this is very weird i want to just tell everybody about this because i don't know exactly what's gonna happen with all of it but uh, shit something chose me and it gave me this bat and pulls it out from her coat and just goes and now weird things are happening like i got a weird vision before that wolf thing and uh yeah things are real weird and the bat feels like the thing that showed up in my dream and said that it chose me so like if anybody who's got better understanding the magical shit wants to take a peek see if any y'all can figure out what the hell is going on would appreciate and she's just setting it down just kind of in the middle of the room um i know a little bit but i don't know about that but i can take a look at it yeah. now there's a difference between having magical abilities and being trained in understanding magical thing right right and tiffany's got some from the whole wizards council thing but she's not like super intuitive yeah. with it like it, all of her stuff is gut stuff not not like book knowledge. I mean, we also have the library downstairs. We can sit and. Study. I was gonna say, I think we might be able to get some information from that. At least find out if anything similar to this has happened before. I could ask. Also, an option if your friend wants to be helpful. Yeah. Although, uh, I don't know. I mean, how often have you been asking them about stuff lately? I mean, they're cool. I don't know. What do you mean? I think it's a matter of wanting to make sure Kate's not overextended. Yeah. That'll be fine. It's well, just a question. If you're okay with it, maybe we should start there, you know, ask Ancient Demon and then move to the books afterwards. 
and Malleus might at least be able to give us, I don't know, some keywords we can check the catalog for. Oh, hey, in case no one's caught on yet, Percy's my dad. We should probably clear the air about that at this point. <laughs> I knew it. Shut up. You don't. Nice. Fuck you. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, she. Bea smacks him. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Uh, I guess we're just all sharing secrets, so yeah, there you go. Not really that much Not of a so secret. secret. We've kind of been but... loud about it over the last couple of hours. Yeah. All right. Let's focus on the bat. Yes, she's my daughter. And we'll be dealing with that and her mother over the course of the next few days. We'll keep you all updated. Yeah, but don't weird about it. <laughs> Lakeisha just shakes her head and just smiles to herself and mm -hmm, continues listening. All right. Okay. So... So, Mr. Chidi, from what I understand, like, probably two of the last things that will happen that night are going to be some extent of research uh, regarding... And then uh, Kate had something, too. Yeah, magical bat of doom. Um, yeah, Kate has somewhere yeah. to go. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> yeah, you do. Excuse? Cute emo girl. Uh -huh. uh, say what now? Okay. Yeah. Kate has somewhere to go. Uh, someone is expecting them? Question mark. I mean, they were, you know, they like had a loose invitation, like hoping to see you there that night. Yeah. So especially with all this going on, <laughs> I think uh, she's curious if they're even gonna be there, and if so, I don't know. She she just wants to see kind of how that pans out. Kate, if you've got some place to go, why don't you just go rather than use your energy? We can do some book research here tonight, and if we can't find anything, maybe we ask them tomorrow. You deserve to go have if some that's fun. That's okay with y'all. It's not yeah. fun. I, I am worried about the, the potential wearable situation. Uh, yeah, no, it's fine. You're, you're probably, fine. yeah, you're, it's fine. You're probably the most protected out of all of us, I'll, let's be honest. I was going to say, of, yep. of any of us, the one that I think could be solo. <laughs> yeah. How's him going to the depot? That's another it's thing. Uh, you know what? Actually, uh, if you do find yourself in a situation, uh, you know what? Why not let your friend know uh, to reach out to us in case you happen to come into a compromising situation. Is that something he can do? Well, I guess we'll find out. Or hopefully we won't, but... Yeah. Just um, do us a favor. Give, give my home phone a call tomorrow morning just to make sure you're okay. Okay. Or whenever you wind up someplace with a phone. Why wouldn't it be someone with the phone? Just, I know the depot don't usually let people borrow a phone. And so just when mm. you get back. Okay. All right. So, uh, there's going to be two things happening that night. Uh, a bit of research and somebody's gonna party out hard maybe who knows uh for the research team whoever wants to research i'm assuming is the remaining four of you i would love to research uh, that is that is my thing just all of you give me a sharp roll uh, tell me the result, and I'm going to have to look into the Keeper's Bank of Information that I definitely have on paper, not just in my brain, and get back to you on that information. The uh, the lore library gives a plus one to investigate mysteries, but not, like, sharp rolls specifically. I don't know if that counts here. Uh, I would allow it. I'm, I'm a kind and generous uh, Keeper. Cool, cool, cool. It, it, is, uh, it, it has nothing to do with the half uh, bottle of wine I drank today. Yeah, no, <laughs> of course not. <laughs> that you are, Keeper, that you are. Uh, Lakeisha only got a seven on that. I'm never going to level up. 
<laughs> I keep rolling really well. Well, for once, it looks like Tiffany is going to actually start to get to a point to level up because I rolled like shit. Wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. So Tiffany is very distracted and looking at the phone on the wall because she knows she's going to have to pick it up and call her mother sometime in the next few minutes. Mm. Yikes. Um, Bia got a nine total. Let's see, I got, oh, we're adding the plus one. That's a, that's a 12. Damn. I got that plus three sharp. With the plus, right. I got a six. All right, I'm just gonna take all of those Asterisk, nut. when he's sober. Well, yeah, <laughs> when I'm so, there's an ability I really wanted, but I can't use that lets me act crazy and just everybody ignores me. And I was like, oh, it's perfect, but you have to roll weird for it. I can't do that. <laughs> I mean, isn't like, are you all not always like Loki rolling weird? Uh, uh, yeah, I am always rolling weird, but I'm not rolling weird. So, all right, just I'm just going to take down everybody's result. Percy was 12. Yep. Bia was. You, uh, you are. Bia rolled nine. Sorry. Nine. All right. Roll like shit. Uh, Lakeisha, if you work on that, that too. was seven, seven. Oh, mm. and Tiff, I rolled a six. I rolled trash. I, I mean, got my experience, and I'm all of you there. roll like trash except Percy because you are using the Percy method of you no, know, the way shit are pulled up, and there is not an alphabetical order or like a numerical order or a yearly order, it's in whatever order Percy, you know, think works for him. Uh, it makes no sense to most people except Percy, right? All right, cool. The average is, let's, let's be honest, not great. Um, all right, I'm going to figure that out about that and get back to you on that. So, would the situation at home uh, under control and... Or at least it's going to be most likely f to get any amount of good research done. Not, I would not say an all nighter, but it will take a few hours. Right. Uh, so, uh, which give plenty of time for K to still in carefully, I'm assuming, uh, drive in town. Uh, to uh, the depot, which is a uh, former former warehouse, not a where not not a house that is you know a house by night. Uh, that has been more or less recycled uh, for whatever is the one of a local scene, <laughs> alternative scene in Ifria Wig. Uh, which they're more or less slowly discovering, I guess. Uh, to the power of, I'm assuming, I think MTV was around in the 80s. I don't know. I don't remember. It, la it launched in 82? Yeah. Question mark? Yeah. See, MTV like just brought things like that up. And somebody can ch fact check us in the comment. Uh, but in this universe, it was launched, at least. 1981. There you go. Uh, uh, it's not like the busiest or wildest scene uh, especially on a Sunday like few people go to the fucking club on a Sunday especially if you have a real job uh, but from the outside you are able to hear some semblance of music uh just a few people outside, you know, drinking. Well, not drinking, but smoking. And you'll just talking. And there's music being played inside. And, but you're, you're there in your van. Uh, you were cordially, more or less, invited to hopefully be seen there that night. Where you decide to actually properly show up. That is entirely up to you. Yeah. 
Um, I think that uh, probably had like a like a little leather jacket in the back of the car, so throws that on, um, and then uh, proceeds inside to see if uh, she sees a familiar face. All right, uh, it is not exactly the most crowded place. Uh, uh, you do see a few people, uh, like bartender, and like a few. A few. Uh, but uh, looking around, you do see her uh, standing by a table, uh, having a drink with uh, a few more of the folks that you may have noticed uh, from that van, and a few, uh, let's call them locals, uh, that you've probably seen at your, the record store and so on. Um... And she does, from across the room, uh, notice you. And, and give you a, a little uh, discreet hello. Uh, before walking towards you. He just stands there <laughs> and lets her approach. <laughs> just How was uh, if you want to get show up? Yeah, it's nothing else much to do on a Sunday night, so. And you can see she's looking around. I can tell. Uh, not much of a scene in Fairwick. Yeah, it's a small town. I imagine you come from, from her, uh, come from some. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I am. <laughs> Cannon, keep it. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I imagine you come from somewhere uh, busier. I mean, what would you say? I mean, I come from, I was born and raised in New York, right? You gotta tell by my accent because I'm very French Canadian. Yeah, that's that's busy. A bit more. Travel a bit around the place. It brings you here of all places. Yeah. Weird cross country trip with some friends. Wanna come have a drink and oh Yeah, I'm sure. And she uh, grabs you by the arm. And you notice that she pulls you to a table that is not the one she was at earlier. Like, it is one of the, well, I said it's one of the few tables that is unoccupied. On a Sunday, it's not very occupied here. <laughs> uh, no. Whatever pass for dark wave music, it's probably like, for, like the same record, like playing like a few times around. Uh, it's. Music is it, whoever is DJing here is probably will need to visit the record shop, shop soon. You need to need some new stuff. Uh, but yeah, uh, pulls you aside. You don't want to go with your bunnies, or I see them all the time. Okay. Like I said, I'm here to visit the good things of Fairwick, so. Uh, um, I'm going to grab a drink. I'll be back. All right. And we'll scoot off to the bar to grab a whiskey. Coke? What did, what did people drink back then? <laughs> Do people drink whiskey cokes? <laughs> whiskey coke is a timeless All drink. Right. Um, probably like grabs a whiskey coke. Uh, or actually, she probably says like, "Do you do you want anything?" Or you good? Uh, you can see that she still has it like a half finished bottle of beer in her hand. Uh, so yeah, we'll come in with her with her whiskey coke. 
a, a little straw, She's sipping out a little straw. You're not supposed to sip out of the little straws for stirring, but she sips out of the little straw. So, yeah. Beside this place, anything fun around here? Mm, said kind of we're on a weird crossroad trip. He kind of ran into the middle of middle of nowhere. So, yeah, that's a bit of an understatement. Uh, oh, I am Emily, by the way. Um, uh, Cade. Yeah, I don't think we exchanged name earlier. No, I kind of forgot that part. <laughs> so what what do you do around here? Uh, not much. I um, work at the record shop. Um, like the only one in town. Uh, so uh, that's, that's what I do. Um, just kind of work there and otherwise fuck around. What do you do when you're not traveling? Uh, not much. Uh, been, been traveling, been starting. I had a startup band in like New York, but never, that never really worked out. So taking a year off to just see the world and see what's going on. Are those your uh, band members there? Former band members? Uh, Freddie over here, yeah. But the other one, they're just friends with us. It's pretty cool. You can all hop in a car and get away. Can make the most of it, right? Yeah, no, yeah. Um, uh, there is the diner. You do have to check out the diner. It's admittedly pretty good. I don't know if it's better than New York diners. If New York has diners, I imagine you would. Um, but they're probably not a... Yeah, not like um. Yeah, we 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 have we have a few. Cool. Uh, yeah. I mean, I I feel like it's pretty good. You might think otherwise. Um, but I I would say check it out. But yeah, otherwise, um, you saw the most exciting thing, which is the park and this place. I mean, I would not say that those are the most exciting things I've seen so far. But you've seen something more exciting. Currently, yes. Oh. Um, sip drink. <laughs> um, and sort of um, like shoves uh, what's their drink down and shoves their hands in their pockets. Um, yeah, I uh, uh, sorry, I don't, I don't get out much. Um, or do much involving being out in public. Not that I do weird stuff out of public, um, but I, you know, don't go places. So, uh, I mean, it's all right. I'm glad you went places this morning, at least. Yeah, that was kind of a... Uh... <laughs> Rare occurrence where I had a morning off. So I am. So you work in a record store. What, what are you into? Oh, um, all kinds of stuff. I mean, Thriller's been really big, and I gotta admit, it's it's pretty good. It's a pretty good song. I mean, all right. You know, I'm sick of hearing it, but... Music video is pretty cool. I mean, it's interesting. I don't think I've caught a video yet. It's good. Oh, it like turns into some werewolf creature in it. It's pretty cool. It's really, uh... I don't know. It's just really cool, uh, I guess, effects. Look, I mean, let's be honest, your DJ here is a bit of shit. Yeah. 
um, you know, more from the dark wave and punk scene. Um, want to get out of here? Uh, ever, like, I mean, we could, um, sure. I don't know where we'd go, but yeah, we can um, go somewhere. Like anywhere but near. Do you, do you want to tell your friends first, or? Sure. Um, I guess I could borrow the van and I can go somewhere. Although I would let them walk, it would be a bit shit on my part. Although, I mean, last time, like they did, let some of us, like they did leave some of us to walk, because you know. Shitty. Anyway. Eh, uh, so, you know, Johnny. You know, we saw this like pretty girl at the bar, and like wanted to have a little something, something, and well, yeah, yeah, you get it. You were walking home. Uh, we we had to we had to wait a bit outside for a while. Oh, even better. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, uh. I can if you want to let your friends know. I mean, I got a van. You could never want if you want to do that. Yeah. All right. And you no, know, you see her uh, walk away for a, a little bit and talk to her friends. Uh, some of them look. They look at you like, all right. And she come. She come back down her beer. All right. You're, you're, you're done sipping that with a straw? Uh, yeah, I can just... Yeah, give me a second. Can chug the rest of it. And then, uh... Yeah. All right. It's ready to head out to... Head out I there. don't know. I'm trying to think of where she'd take them. She, she'd be like, I don't know if you want to like go to the diner or something, or we can go back to the park. It, it doesn't matter. Like I said, there's not much to do. I mean... Take your word for it. Show me around town. Uh, diner's not half bad. We can stop there. Food's always a good idea. All right. Sure, I could eat something. Cool. Is that cool with you all, too, I'm guessing? And blank points to the others. <laughs> yeah, you can tell at this point that they don't care. Cool. All right. I will. Yeah. All right. And uh, we'll drive to the, drive to the local diner. Did it have a name? I can't remember. Uh, I do believe we do have a few diners available oh, okay. in our. Uh, I need. I had like a document with all like the little place in Fairwick somewhere. Give Panda thirty uh, seconds. We can cut this out. Uh, I got it. Uh, pop, 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 pop. Burn. No, that's the grocery store. Let me just a few chain restaurant. It's uh, Poppy's Diner. Yeah, there you go. Poppy like the flower. Yeah. We're going to Poppy's. Yeah. Which is open late. Yeah. Going to Poppy. Yeah. Is Poppy there? <laughs> Poppy herself? Poppy herself. Uh, Poppy herself. Word? Poppy herself is not there. Uh, it's getting late for Poppy. That's fair. That's fair. Um, yeah, she'll like get them a table and uh, say like uh, anything you order is honestly um, pretty good. Um, What you want? What's good? E everything, literally everything's good. Uh, I'm assuming it's a diner. They probably have burgers and shit. It's typically what I do. All right, all right. Well, burger it is. So, um, and like looks to the others. You all, uh, what do you? What oh, it's do you just do? you and her. Oh, it's just me. Oh, they, yeah, yeah. they left? Where did they she's go? Just like, she just like fucking like left them at the bar. Oh, she left them at the bar. Oh, yeah. shit. Oh, okay. It's just us. Yeah, so, yeah. So, um, 
Where whereabout? I mean, I imagine you're staying at the like motel. That's really all we have to stay at. Mostly, honestly, just crash in the van. And, oh, uh, yeah, that's cool. Um, I do that sometimes. Yeah. Uh, in my van, I did it's pretty. Um, I used to actually live in there uh, for a bit before I got my current place. Yeah, I mean, usually it's not too bad. Like we like it's usually five of us. Although we haven't like seen like Jake since last night, so. Jake. Yeah, he's like he came to town with us like earlier, like like last morning. We we've been here since yesterday. Like went to the park today, and mm -hmm. I haven't seen you know. Jake was like, I hey, wanted to visit the local scene, like newer. So he just like, separated from the rest of you. Yeah, he said he said he had family nearby, so he's like, mm -hmm. all right, we're gonna you know get back and uh, catch you later on, and so on. We told him we're gonna leave like tomorrow, so. Hmm. Yeah, I haven't seen him. So that's weird. Maybe um, contact the station if you haven't seen him by morning. I mean, we don't really a smart thing to do. Go missing around here, so not like that. It's a weird town, but I mean, it's it's fairly safe so maybe he's not far hopefully so beside a mom and pop diner the tra and trailer and dive bar what are you into oh um i mean i um huh and what are you into um what am I, 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 um, wait, I don't understand. Why'd you ask me that twice? I guess small town folks are not used to that, but I think you're hot. All right. Oh. Oh. Or whatever the 80s, 80s term would yeah, be I guess, like, hot. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Dang it, where's my fan? I, I believe you're looking for the term rad. You know, rad. Wait, wait, let me do it again. Oh, yeah, that's that's the wrong Why direction. Yeah. At that time. <laughs> rad would work. Beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> um, I think she'll kind of just stare. Okay, I mean, um, thank you. Um, um, so are we? Is this technically like a? I mean, I don't care. Like, I, I don't. I date anyone. Like, I don't. I don't know. But a lot of people around here are pretty actually fairly open, uh, ish. Um. Uh, but I, I guess I'm, you know, f uh, fairly open ish too. Um, in that way. Sorry, I. <laughs> I really don't get out much. Um, don't take it the wrong way, I can tell. <laughs> I get that. Um, but, uh, thank you. I, I, um, I guess it's a shame you're leaving tomorrow. Uh, at least, um, we have this moment, I guess, to have... Breezy diner food for you uh, head out. I mean, I'm not on a schedule, so. You could just tell him, like, I oh, need to, like, stay one more day or. Oh, I mean, yeah, if you do, let me know. We can, um, especially if you're looking for your friend to uh, show up 
Um, maybe, maybe give them another day and maybe they just lost track of time, especially if there's family around. Yeah. Do you friends like go off on their own a lot? Once in a while. We, we, we honestly we, we traveled together we're you know friends companions and all that but like like we're we're free to do what we want that's pretty cool don't have to worry about having a job and boring shit like that <sighs> fuck work for years like finally like getting it like taking a few months to actually travel a few states and see what the fuck's out there? So. What are you gonna do after you're done traveling? <laughs> Who knows? Probably like go back, maybe feel inspired to actually, you know, write some decent tune and or wh for whoever's gonna fucking listen to you. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Um, yeah, that'd be uh, that'd be pretty cool. Write music, you know. I'd beyond me i just sell it uh, that's it's pretty uh um, it's pretty neat well i guess that's a fun date yeah uh, no this was cool uh this is actually uh my first date with a uh another with a um i i mean i guess i don't want to assume anything but uh uh yeah, I mean, I'm a girl. Okay, yeah. Um, I mean, I guess I am most of the time. Uh, it, this was fun. This was cool. Um, I think you're pretty cool. I don't really do this, um, but uh, if you're down to hang out tomorrow, um, uh, you sure. can come by the record shop. I'll be around. All right. Maybe we'll see more of each other. No. Might stick around for a little bit. Like, I don't know what's the apartment market he has around here. The what? You know, apartment, you know, like how, like where people live. Oh, it's normal probably nothing like new york that's a shit show over there that makes sense um i don't know much about it like i said i, I live above the record shop but um i'm sure you could find something if, right. if this was a place you'd want to stay for a while it, it's not really you know new york but... all right Right. So I'm assuming it's going to end up being a very uh, call it a very awkward date-ish situation here. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> with very little small talk and by the end of the night uh, you know she give you a, a demo tape of her Band that she has in New York. Nice. Uh, and I'm assuming, I don't know if you are driving her back to the depot. Um, yeah, or... we we'll drive her back to the depot. Yeah. Right. It's already talking about trying to find an apartment in town. This is the only way this could be more it's lesbian, lesbian is if you up with a U Haul to the next state. <laughs> I was thinking the exact same thing because it's 100% true. If a U-Haul shows up at the next day, y'all are getting married and we're just throwing a wedding. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I, I like the, the fact that when I asked her, like, what are you into twice? It just flew over your actual head. Yeah, it did. <laughs> It did. <laughs> <laughs> the Riz is unmatched. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Incredible, really. Thankfully, Kate has about as much Riz as me. <laughs> so this was uh, <laughs> this was pretty easy. <laughs> Amazing. Spot I'd be on role play. If, if she was actually smooth. All right. 
Perfect. So. Perfect. Anything else uh, that any of you wish to uh, perform before we flip over the following day? I think at some point that night we have to call Tiffany's mom because she left while nobody was home. Yeah. Uh, roll me a d6. Whoops. Just to see if the line... It's essentially to reestablish the line. Ooh. So you're all true. What I'm going to do, if I roll lower than you, it will be reestablished. Um, all right. Just so people say that I am not lying. I'm taking a picture. Let's go. Look, I said it. If it's lower, it's going to be established. If it's not, and you know, it's on. Uh, where the fuck is my goddamn camera? Uh, <laughs> there it is. Oh, no. Uh, and yes, my dice tree is a bit dirty, but if anybody's angry about it, fuck it. I don't care. Um, it's blurry as well, but I don't care. All right, oh, here damn. we go. It looks it looks like you well, took that in a panic. <laughs> nah. like I mean, camera he was and just playing the opposite end of the gay panics. So. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, <laughs> some residual panic. Wow, wait, you guys have the same dyes? What the fuck? Look at that. <laughs> I, I Not to be dice. funny, I also have the same set. It's over in my uh, yeah. my stuff from my other character on. I hey. don't. It's it's, it's yeah. one of the so one phone of the lines have been hard. reestablished. Yes. Uh, phone line have been reestablished uh, late into the night, uh, so I don't know at what time you plan to call home. Like as soon as I would say, we'd probably be checking like every ten or fifteen minutes, like yeah. waiting because phone lines are much easier to reestablish in power. Yep. Generally. Uh, yeah, generally. Uh, so give or take, like, close to 11.30, almost midnight. Uh, it's reestablished. Should we call Mama? All right, I'm, I'm going to give you an option. Because you asked me to treat you like an adult. Okay. I judge neither of the options. You can call her. Or I can. I'll call her. All right. You want me to be in the room? Yes. All right. I go up to the kitchen. Uh, I go over to the fridge and uh, grab two bottles out and pop one, hand it over to, to Tiff as she's starting to call. Thank you. Yeah, well. Do you want me to stick around too? If you want, I don't think this is going to be a long conversation. All right. So she'll walk over and... <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> Props. Look at that. <laughs> what? Wow. She's just listening, waiting for the yes. ring. She's just listening to it ring, waiting to see if Frank. <laughs> Frank, where's your phone? What the hell? Props, baby. I, 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 for three I, I, I have yeah. one somewhere in the house. Honestly, I have one somewhere in the house. I It's somewhere in the basement, in a box, under a pile of dust. Tragic. I'm not gonna go get it for that. Tragic. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Um, get it for this scene. I've been sitting on this for months, and she's <laughs> waiting for her mom to pick up. Uh, you get the answering machine because I verified the answering machine was invited in 1935. Oh yeah, answering machines have been around forever, and of course my parents have one. They have more money than God. So I get the answering machine. Yep. Yeah. Mama. Um, I went to go talk to dad. Uh, I'm at his house. Call if you need anything. Bye. She'll just hang up. Cool. There we go. She knows where you're at. And, um, I'm going to reach over and take the phone and take it off the line. And she can leave a message if she needs. 
Uh, just for future reference for me, uh, can you roll me another d6? If you roll a two, you die. Five. Oh, thank okay, God. thank you. <laughs> because I do love to leave things up to chance. Uh, I think that's been established very early on. If you take the phone off the line, all she's going to get is eh, 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 answering, but she'd actually have to have the phone. Well, then she can't leave a message. <laughs> Fuck her. <laughs> We're all going to hear the thing, though. You're going to just need to <laughs> You're just going to hear the annoying, like, receiver. phone tone until you Yeah, I, I know how phones work, right? Obviously. <laughs> Yeah, we're all old enough to remember like home phone yeah. and shit. Yeah. The way that I hit up so many thrift stores to find this fucking thing. It was two dollars, y'all. <laughs> Gotta love a thrift store. Perfect. So in that case, if that's the only thing, it will bring us um early-ish in the morning. Of December 20th, uh, 13th. 13th. I remember date. I don't know why. I don't know why I did 20th in my brain. Uh, 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 December, Monday, December 13, 1982. So, uh, y'all wake up in whichever respective place you fell asleep. Uh, some of you home, some of you on the couch, some of you in your own personal space somewhere else. Uh, in company or not, it's up to you. Uh, four. Let's resolve quickly what your uh, general uh, eating the books gave you about the baseball bat of destiny here the baseball bat of destiny or whatever you want to call it i don't care no that's it that's what we're calling it it's baseball bat of destiny legendary Uh, (laughs) so till we we find its actual name like five episodes from now there's a lot of mention here and there throughout history of various object uh, bestowed upon especially if you go dive into more religious and cryptic text uh, bestowed upon the mortals for whatever duty they're supposed to do uh, sometime through uh, odd vision if you like look at I'm sure I'm not an expert bible if you're an expert bible watching this show I mean, I grew I don't up care. extremely Methodist, so I have yeah. I, decent memory know, of it, but... I'm not a, a religious person at all, by any means. Um, there's various objects, you know, that has been associated with people and uh, sometimes been gifted to them by uh, divine powers. Some conspiracy theorists uh, believe that, uh, as the History Channel would point, aliens... Uh, would be the cause of all those things. Who knows exactly what is the source? Uh, that is to be determined uh, with possibly uh, further research and for be able to further dive into that psyche of things. Uh, as for the exact origin, for you it was just through a vision, but you've just been going through a lot of shit so who knows what this means uh, so there is a various ob- uh, object like that in, in, like all sorts of Christmas things. some say it's divine some say it's alien you look at it it looks like a like early baseball bat nothing alienish about it if that is an instrument of divine I mean, as, as baseball player says, God bless America or some shit. I don't know. Um, you know, it, it might it might be one of those things. Uh, but there's, di- there's possibly differently more than what meets the eyes. 
right like one of the easy figure like uh, was thank you sarah uh moses staff although it would take a weird form we all know that moses was very much into sports um It was it was a lot into hiking, okay. Uh, so, but yeah, that's generally like the like the rough information that you get about what it may be. A lot of it may just be revealed through use of the object, or who knows. So, with that in mind. What is your uh, morning plans? I'm assuming some of you do have actual jobs. Yep. Uh, some of you do have some actual reporting to do. And some of you probably have people to meet. Yeah, I actually don't know how Percy makes a living. <laughs> Nobody's going to employ him. So I, I actually have no idea. Where he gets so much from. people at pools. He said something about him just kind of being like handyman for hire, kind of. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Also, just like generally private investigator online, probably with a very small amount of people who would actually reach out online. They're probably all fucking crazy, so he can definitely scam them without. I mean, without barely the internet. But, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So um, he's yeah. Anyways, uh, he has nothing to do in the morning. <laughs> All right, perfect. Uh, what about the rest of you? Um, at yeah. about 7 a.m., Tiffany is like knocking on Percy's bedroom door. Just real quick. Bea opens the door. Hey, is he awake? Not yet. He can be. No, I just didn't let him know that I was leaving for school. Yeah. I want to get there early and get. I'm like gonna go run past the house real quick and like change and all right and yeah. run over to school. I'm gonna be heading out here. God, pretty much now. I can't get here fast enough. <sighs> Five more days, me. right? Yep. Yeah. One more week. Yeah, I'm um, gonna... just. I'm leaving him a note. He knows generally where I'm at during the school week, so I think he'll probably assume that's where you went off to. He's not going to be up till probably 10. Yeah, at some point I got to talk to Jimmy and tell him what's going on, because I'm sure he's like, I've told him a little bit, but it's going to be yeah. another week of people poking fun and... Yeah. It's weird, you know, because people... People aren't poking fun because it's Percy that's my dad. It's people are poking fun that I didn't know who my dad was. <laughs> yeah. I guess just... Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm... I don't know. It, it doesn't really matter, you know? Not terribly, unfortunately. Don't worry about it. But I'd like for the five days so we can use the holiday break to let shit blow over because by then there's going to be rumors about a million other things. Oh, yeah. So, but yeah, I'm going to run home and change and then I'm going to go run to school and All right. I'm just going to hang out there for the morning. I'm going to try to avoid mama. She ain't going to want to talk while she's got to get the other three ready for school because I ain't helping today. <laughs> no. You got... uh. uh your car able to take the roads like this? Oh yeah, it's fine. Right. It's it's not that bad. It, you know, we only got like a quarter inch of snow. They already plowed everything. It's not gonna be a bad, big deal. All right. And Tiffany is gonna go outside and open the garage, fire up her car, and head home to get changed and head to school unless her mom stops her. Perfect. Uh, be anything else you're doing in that morning? I think she brews coffee because depending if Lakeisha stayed I'm sure Lakeisha has already been awake as well yeah uh, as you come out of your conversation you'll probably hear huh? 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 and she's already out back um, 
should be wearing a jacket but isn't she's got her bare arms showing and she's already doing like iron man lifts with a nearby tree trunk that's probably been in the snow a bit so she's exercising the arm that early and uh uh if you uh you know happen to catch her eye or wave out the back door she'll and drop this thing on the ground and just say yo hey you, had, you make coffee uh didn't make it but would appreciate some yes please yeah all right and yeah. sticks her head back in and puts on the coffee pot as soon as it's done and she's brewing it like it's pretty strong and mm-hmm. as soon as it's done she pours herself a mug of it and goes i'm heading out you take care I'll be checking in with the agency uh I should check in with them at least yeah. and oh that reminds me I'll see you and uh you'll see her pull out her pager and um she's gonna send a uh a uh because everybody's got a boss right she'll send a, a message a quick message to her actual boss watch me pull an Anderson out of my ass yeah so she'll the only message she'll put is paging Mr. Anderson sorry <laughs> alright perfect alright and are you sl- after coffee are you slowly heading towards the agency yes indeed yeah alright uh, perfect I'll, I'll wait till I finish at least two cups though cause I need at least three to handle that place <laughs> on any given right. day. So, yeah. Perfect. Uh, Percy, uh, what time are you getting up? <clears throat> Probably whenever the sun gets high enough to get in his eyes. And anything in your morning routine that you wish to take care of? Uh, <clears throat> well, he does look around because he doesn't really know that Cade never came back or anything. So he does see if Cade's there. Then Bia, then Lakeisha, then Tiff realizes he's just kind of there by himself. And he's like, oh, okay. And he locks all of the doors and sits down on his couch by himself and just enjoys the quiet for a while. I think that's probably how he spends his morning. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, All right. And Cade, how was your morning? Um, Cade wakes up and is very clumsy that morning just kind of like keeps running into stuff and uh keeps like zoning out um left her tea uh steeping for like 15 minutes before remembering that she made tea those kinds of things um but eventually kind of makes it over to percy's probably around i don't know 10 10 or so sounds about right Yes, 10, 10 o'clock, sun will be up. So yeah, she'll drive over. Okay. Uh, she prob- probably finds the door locked. <laughs> she's gonna knock. Um, <clears throat> no soliciting? It's me, Percy. Yeah, I figure. Okay, hold on. Um, Give me a second. I gotta put on pants. Hold on. He, he takes like five minutes before he finally opens the door. Hey. Hey. How was the uh, depot? Uh, fine. It was Sunday, so it was kind of... Yeah, but you said fine with like that look on your face, like it wasn't what you were expecting it to be. Um... I don't know, it was um, uh, some people from out of town, met some people, uh, got dinner at the diner. Oh. Uh, yeah. Cool. Um, everybody else is kind of headed out for the day. Um, I actually uh, wanted to tell you something about that situation. Um... I think we killed their friend. Okay. I just have a hunch because, uh, 
person I saw after we <sighs> killed that uh, creature looked like one of the people that was with them. And yesterday, they said their friends were missing. Oh. Shit. Um, that's... <laughs> They've decided they're staying in town a few few... Because they're waiting for said missing friend. Uh, yeah, they're waiting for their friend. That is, do you have any proof? Do you know for sure? I don't know for sure, but guy in that cave is one of the same guys I saw with her. I don't know his name, but. Uh Uh-huh. All right, come inside for a sec. Sit down. <clears throat> We're going to do some work. Uh, I'll close the door behind them, disappear and come out uh, like with like a bunch of various sheets of paper and start setting them all down. All right, let's write down everything we know. Let's make sure before we try and tell the group this because we have a tendency to act on things. So let's make sure. All right. And he'll just like go through his general note keeping method of trying to solve mysteries, but it becomes clear very quickly that he's avoiding talking to Kate about anything but this because he doesn't know what else to do. Which is fine with Cade because <laughs> the thing on her mind you don't want to talk about. <laughs> uh, I, I think eventually he probably like he stops after writing down like the third thing, like he's underlined it, he's wrote, written it down again, he underlined it again. He's like, okay, I'm, I'm just going over the same stuff over and over. He finally just stops and goes, hey, I'm sorry, by the way, uh, for, you know, the other night, <clears throat> I, w- I came real aggressive to your house and then never followed up and I was all threatening and shit and sorry, you know, if that was, that was uncool of me. It was uncool, but it was on brand. Ow. Fair, but ow. Um. Look. Yeah. I understand that this is something you don't understand and people are afraid of things they don't understand and people they don't understand um yeah so i i get it you and you and lakeisha have made it very clear that i need to uh watch myself i guess um i have no intention of uh No, I tried to co- come to you for help the other night, actually. I, I don't. And like, they, they just look very, like, almost like they're going to cry. He got real hurt that day. Who got real hurt that day? Yeah. Got real hurt. Yeah. Back when we were in that cave and I... And as soon as I saw the opportunity get stronger, I took it. Do you think that was a bad thing to do? You're all alive, aren't you? It's a good point. Look, it's hey. a situation now, so. I made a deal, and I'll I'll be careful. So. Okay, I know this is rich coming from me. Okay, hold on. I know it's rich. You can take me out. I guess you can. No, no, Kate. I was wrong for being worried about what you are. I was wrong for being scared. Okay. You did what you needed to to protect us, and that should have told me everything. And I, it's easy for me to think that somebody's out to get everybody, okay? But you've proven multiple times now that's not the case. And you got Tiff out of there last night. 
if that wasn't going to tell me anything, that that's the moment that I knew I was wrong and I'm sorry. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, you're a weirdo. I don't get you at all, but I think kind of that's the point. Because I try to understand and I try to know what's going on and maybe I'm a little jealous because you don't need to and you're still okay. You know, Percy, you can't protect everyone. Yeah. Yeah, that is true. We all got to depend on each other. That is also true. And I don't like saying that it's true, but it is. And eventually, the stubborn old man's got to accept that. You're not that old. Oh, I feel like it sometimes. My back hurts when I wake up, you know? And then, like, sometimes, like, I try to move and there's, like, this weird popping noise. You stretch? What for? You even exercise? When's the last time you had water? Like, earlier this week, why? Just goes to writing notes. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, um... Look, I just... Thanks. Thanks for being on the up and up and uh, taking care of my daughter. She's a good kid. You are too. I take it back. Neither (laughs) of us are kids. (laughs) And she says neither of us are kids. I know. But uh, calling you guys kids maybe makes me feel a little bit more in control. So if you just indulge me and I'll try and be more respectful of you. You want me to call you Pops too? All right, point taken. I won't call you kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll go back to writing down all of our notes before we present our research to the rest of the group. <laughs> Perfect. All right. <laughs> so. With that here, uh, I do believe, uh, Lakeisha, you were going to report in, right? Good. All right. So, as you venture for into, let's call it an undisclosed location within Fairwick. Uh, you take the elevator down to one of the sub basement of the agency because the main floor of this are definitely not on the surface as you walk in you are greeted with uh, one of your fellow agents by one of your fellow agents uh, agent Burke uh, with this Older fella has been here forever. Uh, probably gonna retire from it here like within the summer. Well, Luke, who decided to show up? Uh, Murphy's okay. been looking for you. Oh She's yeah. She's not. Uh, uh. Yeah, she definitely seems uh, quite happy. I don't know what the fuck you did, kid, but. I'll, uh, I hope that you know you put some. You brought. Do you have like a uh, travel mug? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. I got my uh, travel mug with me. I hope this is strong drink, cause last I don't remember last time I seen her that angry. <sighs> oh, it's 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 touching, really. But you know, uh, you you're actually showing concern for little old me. Hey, uh, do I see that you've lost some weight? Yeah, you've been working out? Yeah, nice for you. And don't worry about me, I'll be fine. It's the suit, it makes me look slimmer. 
Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Just like... Well, good luck with that. At least one of us is going to retire, so. Looks back at him and uh, shakes, uh, just shrugs, and uh, keeps it casual, keeps it moving towards the yeah. uh, the office. Yeah. So from the outside of this very clinical white building with all neon lighted, you can still hear the buzzing sound if you pay attention. If it's quiet, we all we all know that like buzzing sound of neon light. Uh, from the exterior, you are able to see through uh, the blinds. Uh, local director Murphy uh, talking to one of your fellow agents uh, until she notices you. You do know Murphy from... Uh, she's been around... She's been with the agency for a long time. Like, she's been around... Even when your father was around, she was a rookie then. So she's been around for quite some time. Uh, and she's been, like, in the recent year, named local director for the Fairwood branch. Uh, she see you through the window, wrap up her conversation with person that she's at right now and they walk out open close the door they're like I take your next yeah yeah I guess I am and uh, strolls in as casually as possible close the door Yep, yep, I know what that means. And <laughs> closes the door. Um, if there's a shade there on the door, uh, if the door has a uh, window through it, mm -hmm. uh, definitely drops the shade to yep. just like, hey. Agent Owl, have a seat. Yep. <sighs> yep. You and I are going to have a very important talk. And she looks at you very seriously. Do you have any idea of why I want you to see, see you today in my office? Well, uh, I probably... I think it probably has something to do with uh, running into the Yoko locals yesterday. Uh, you know, keeping up appearances and whatnot. You know, when they stick their noses where we don't want them, I do what I gotta, you know? So, sorry for the advanced, uh, the lack of advanced notice. But as you can see, at least type you guys a message. And she reached to a little thing on her desk and she like intercom. Uh, uh, press a, bu uh, a button. Uh, Conley, can you please bring me the file? And that is where we're going to pick up on our next episode. Oh boy. oh boy! How dare! Oh boy! Oh boy! Wow! We made me scream so loud, I scared my cat and wow. she jumped off and pulled my headphones with her. <laughs> oh, no. That's what that chaos was over here. Oh. Y'all wanted multiple episodes. You gave me a lot of power to do such things. Oh. Oh. Welcome to having an actual campaign, folks. Oh god. boy. Oh Damn my it. god. So good. So Welcome to Consequences 2.0. Oh no. Shit. I don't like consequences. <laughs> I love consequences. <laughs> Look, I am a parent. Uh, I have to deal with consequences day in, day out. <laughs> I love them. And the natural ones are always the best. The natural ones. Natural consequences of your oh. actions.
Yes. Piss so. off the boss, end up in the boss's office. Mm. 